Peace, peace, black family. So recently, Just Hilarious made a video talking about um, the attack on womanhood um, through the transgender movement. And she asked the question, she said, who is going to protect black women? Now, before I even get started on my analysis or my point on the video, let me say this. I love black women. I love black women. I love black women. You got to say it three times or they'll say you hate black women. But with that being said, the same person who has always protected black women, the black man. See, we can't. And when I say black man, I'm not talking about black boys. I'm not talking about Negroes. I'm talking about the black man, the man with his head on his shoulders, who see the problem coming, who has initiative like the black man. Not these Negroes out here perpetrating as as men, real black men with integrity, with respect for themselves and their community. That's a black man. Now, with that being said, black women can't have it both ways. It can't be the ideology of shut up. You ain't anybody trying to hear what you're trying to say and then say, well, we need protection. We can't, you can't have that ideology because when black men were saying, hey, hey, we don't like this. Why you got this, this same gender loving homosexual dude that's your best friend? We don't like him being around our sons. We don't like this. Oh, you just hate him. You just mad because he funny. Oh, he know how to dress. You just upset. Get out of here with that with that crap. Stop hating. And the black man said, "I'm not hating. We, we don't even like the same thing. I'm not hating. I'm saying I don't I don't like it. I don't want to promote it. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate him. I just don't want to promote it. And it's shut up, black man. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. And then now you in the same fight with the person you was up there defending, willing to throw your whole relationship about about the gay black man, right? Or or the gay man in general, right?" When we was like, hey, black woman, you going to throw me off of some food stamps? And then the black woman was like, I got to eat. You got to go. I ain't trying to hear all that. Now, years later, we just we got broken families. And I know I'm making it very simplistic. It's, it's a lot deeper than that. But I'm just saying black women can't have it both ways. You can't make these diehard, dire decisions and stand on them. And then years later... When, when the repercussions come back around, it comes full circle. It's like, who going to protect us? Who going to save us? And this is, not, this is not dedicated to all black women. Because I know there are some solid black women who, who like, nah, I ain't with that point blank period. Like, don't bring that around me. I ain't trying to hear all that. I love the black family. I love the black man. I understand that. I'm talking about the ones who be on that. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. When black men are saying, hey, sister, you know, cover up. Like, like you know, be, be, be. You know, you ain't got to be all the way out there like that. Like, we ain't trying to see all that. It's my body. You can't tell me what to do. Who you think you're talking to? It's my body. You was trying to control me. And then years later, we got the Sukihanas and, and the Megan Thee Stallions. And then black men and other people just objectifying black women, looking at you as sexual objects. And you like, don't look at me like that. Don't. I, I should be able to. Come on now. You can't have it both ways. If the black man is saying, I want a woman. With natural hair that covers her body up, who respects herself, and you saying, "Shut up! I ain't trying to hear all that." And then turn around, we got the coach that we got now. Not saying it's all black women's fault, but we got the coach that we got now. Like you can't have it both ways. You cannot have it both ways, black women. You gotta stand strong on one point. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of thirsty dudes out there, right? But again. You can't have it both ways. That's all I'm trying to say. It can't be one minute you fighting for the gays, and then next minute it's like, hey, now, nah, y'all going a little too far when, when black men was already trying to draw the line in the sand. 